Morning, everyone. Welcome to CBC Colouring Book Club. Hope you're all doing well and having a lovely weekend. Thank you for being here today. So this is part five of The Sweet Shop by Chris Price, and it is going to be finished today, come hell or high water. <laughs> I'm over it. I want to move on to something else. So, um, yes, I've been using various pencils, all sorts of stuff, Prismalis and Arteza and, yep, all sorts of things. So um, I hope this looks all right. Actually, that looks a little bit cloudy. So we'll see how we go. I can always fix it up as I go. It just looks a little bit hazy. So anyway, we'll see how we go. I can fix it up later. Now, there's just a few things to go in it. There's not a lot. So um, I'll pick out a couple of pencils. Might pick a nice, pretty... Green. This one's a Thornton. I've got all my display here, so I've got everything in front of me I can use. Hi, Rain. Thank you for being here. <laughs> I'll get this finished today. I did a little bit off stream, just a little bit more wood. Um, got that out of the way. I did this with the Posca up here. I got the um, crystal um, stopper. <laughs> I had to think of what it was called. The crystal stopper um, out of the way, just a couple of other little things. Um, these intricate details down here, I might do some of it on stream. I'm not sure. Hi, Karen. Thank you for being here. Hi, Heather. How are you doing today? Your page looks great. Thank you very much. I hope it's um, focused enough for you guys. Hi, non-disclosure. Thank you for being here. It's good to see you come in chat. Excited to finish it. Oh, <laughs> excited's not the word. I can't wait to finish it and move on to something else. Well, thanks for being here, guys. All righty. Now, I've picked out a Thornton. I have lots of different pencils here, but they're all in front of me, so it's great. I get to use whatever I like. Ah, so we have another robin in the house. We've got a couple of robins actually. That's nice to know. Now this one's a Thornton. They don't actually have, at least I do, um, light green. And I might just give it, give that a slight sharpen. It's a very pale aqua light green, but it's a very pretty colour. Hi, Pam. Thank you for being here. Right. I've been testing out the paper that I bought from last stream that I mentioned. I'll get those out later and we'll have a bit of a look at those. And I'll give you a bit of a rundown of what I think of the paper. This, this is a very, very light colour, so I'm just lightly going over at the moment. Because it's a lolly shop, we can have lots of nice bright colours. But it is a Thornton, so it doesn't go on like a, a Prisma wood. Oh, here's another one. This one's a darker one. And this one is, I'll put my glasses on. This one is Prussian green. 
you know, sword and oh, I just do the darker areas. So you might not see a little bit at this to start off with. I've hardly used these pencils and I've had them for a oh, probably three years now, I think, or more. But they don't go on paper as well as a Prisma, so. And I put a bit of gold on the handle this morning just before I came on stream. Italy. Thank you, Pam. Okay. Um, now I'll go to a bright bit of a yellow. And I'll use a poly. And this one is light chrome yellow 106. So it goes on a lot smoother and a nice, nicer pencil. The Thorntons are okay. They've got some beautiful bright colours. There's no real dark colours. They're really pretty. But, um, of course, being the Polly's, they're fantastic. So they're going on a lot easier. So a bit of green and yellow for what, whatever these are, lollies or chockies or... I'd say that's a glass jar, like a dome, a round bowl glass jar by the look of it. Let me know if that's a bit, a bit hazy for you guys. It still looks a bit hazy to me. Maybe that's a bit better. I think that might look just a little bit better. Uh -huh, I did not know about those either. What was that? The, the Thornton? Okay, what other colours? Just a bit of any anything and everything, just to get this done. A bit of orange, maybe. And I'm using a Pablo. And this one is reddish orange, 040. to apples. <laughs> the round shape in that basket. Oh, okay. Yep. Hi, Mona. Thank you for being here. This one is violet in the Prisma 932. I don't know what these are underneath, but I'll put them, make them into an, a bit of an assortment and a bit of blue. Some of these pencils are getting a bit short. Just a couple of thingos down there. I'll do those. And 
Now, this one's a Signo gel pen uniball gold. Yep, gold. There's, yep, there's another one down there. All right, and I might do the the trellis up the top in gold as well. Hi, Abby. Thank you for being here. Are you still loving your new color coloring storage? I certainly am. It's it is. It's awesome. <laughs> I might turn this on the side, guys. And because the jar's got blue and yellow, I might do the same here. I'm going to use Cerulean Blue, which is 103, and the Violet. And I might pick another colour out as well. Parrot Green 1006 in the Prisma. So they're all Prismas. A bit of colour and I'll go to grab the leaf green just blend that in on a little bit this one's a um, polychromo and it's fun to get the different pencils and see how they go with each other I might just get the blender pencil. I have to make sure that's clean. Just smooth it out a bit. So, got a bit of colour in it so if you can see. Colour. Oh, you're cooking and watching. Yeah, Fourth of July for you guys. Uh, Robin, you're eating nuts. No, I didn't do just before either. <laughs> now I'll do this other one over here, blue again. Oh, actually, violet. It's a beautiful colour. And I'll go 
go straight into the parrot green. They are really pretty colours. So I'm just going to mix and match them up a bit. A bit of violet, a bit of parrot green. Um, now, I've got a bit of gold here, and also I was using, so I've got gold Signo and also the bronze. And then I just got my finger and just smoothed it in a little bit. I always have a bit of paper towel handy. And I'll do the same again down here. bronze and then I'm just smoothing it in a little bit and those two colors the gold and the bronze mixed together um, are really really pretty um, so I don't know if you can see on camera how well those two colors are mixed in but, um, yeah, they're really pretty Heather, you took on a project with this one. Heather, you took on a project with this one, but it's beautiful. <laughs> Thank you, Abby. Oh, I'm pretty heavy-handed, still learning. Oh, you'll get there, Pam. Um, I bought myself five pen stick polys yesterday. I'm going to try them out today. Oh, Do you mean as in um, pencils, Pam? Open stick, polys. I think you mean pencils. <laughs> Thank you, Karen. It is they are pre it is pretty together, and I'll do the other side as well. Uh, I'll start off with the cerulean blue. And then a bit of violet. I'm just mixing and matching them up and a bit of variety. And I'm just using my blender to blend that blue and green. And the purple in. And because I've got violet on this side, I'll use violet on this side. Just to be different. I love blues and violets, beautiful colours. I'll make it a bit darker underneath this box, sort of reminds me. <laughs> Looks like a pile of books, but I don't know what it really is. And it also make this gold lid stand out as well.
more gold. Yeah. Just very gently blend that in. What else have we got to do? There's a bit of. I'll just use the parrot green on that. Okay. Up in there. Now, up the top for the letters. I can't remember what it was last stream. I had a dark red in my hand. Just for the inside of the letter. And I don't know if this is the one I used or not, but it will do. Um, crimson red. And then for the rest of the letter, poppy red. Give this a sharp and need it sharp. This one is pumpkin orange. And then I'll use Yellowed orange, which is 1002. Oh, in the prismas. Sorry, guys. Dark yellow. Yellow, whoops, yellow ochre in the Prisma, which is 9.42. And then a real bright yellow. Neon yellow, 103.5. I'm just making them sharp. Whoops. So I'm using a dark and then a bright on the letters. Red, orange, yellow, green. Grass green. Spring green in the prismas. Yeah, I'm not yet. A real dark blue. <laughs> I gotta watch they don't fall out. <gasps> Because um, they're getting short, some of them. Ultramarine 902 in the Prisma. And then Light Aqua 992. And that's the letters pretty much done. Uh, 
What's going on, you guys? I do sometimes, most of the time, I use blending tools. Polys, Pablos, and everything else, European, easier access, all brands I've known growing up. I'll make a good Hint taken, Robin. <laughs> I hear so much about Polly's, Pablo's, but don't know which set to buy. Big Express heads. Why I got a few yesterday to try out. Oh, they're both good. Maybe I will try to include some of that in my next video. Since I moved to the UK, I should mention quite a bit of Derwent too. <laughs> Yeah, she's good with the distress inks, Karen. She's good to watch. I love watching her. Her videos are good. And I love your laugh too, Karen. you got to, uh, yeah, I like watching you. You're nice and um, relaxing to watch. Pam, I don't have Pablo's, but I love the Polly's. Most people do. Yeah. Yeah, they're a good pencil. <clears throat> now... What colour will I use? I use the gold. I use the gold. Left just a little bit on the outside because so I've got another gold, which is a glittery gold. Let's put a little bit of glitter in there. Just in a couple of spots, not all over.
you're welcome, Karen. I'm just going to, do you have the Dermot Light Fast Pencils? Do, what do you think of them? Do you prefer the Pro Colours or the Colour Soft? <laughs> Hi, Shannon. Thank you for being here. To me, they feel like the luminance, thick pencils, lots of pigment on the page right away. Yeah, I don't have the Lumis. I don't have the Super Colour, so I wouldn't know myself. Um, I swear they are copies of that is what they are aiming for. Total honest. I'm not a fan of the polys yet. Oh, you don't really like them yet, Karen. Oh, the pro colours. <laughs> I should have read that properly. Yeah, I haven't got the pro colours. Um, I enjoy them a lot. Lots of similar colours, but they are rich. Hey, Kenny, you made it. Hi, darling. I didn't know if you'd come in today. Oh, they sound pretty, Veronica. Karen Colt Pens has very good prices in Dermot products. <laughs> Bam, so many different scents. I want them all. Yeah, tell me about it. Yeah, tell me all. <laughs> oh, dear. Yep. Yeah. I, um... You know, some of my pre I've got a spare set of Prisma stashed away, but I dread using up my Color Soft or Polys or um, Pablos. I dread every time I sharpen them. It's like, no, I don't want to, because <laughs> that means they get shorter, and it's like, oh, I dread use I dread using them up. There's a couple that are getting a bit shorter, and it's like, oh no, <laughs> like. So there's two Pablos and that, that light blue is a bit shorter and it's like, no, <laughs> I don't want to. <laughs> I want them to last forever. And the Kimmy is under the weather, but she said hi. Oh, God, love her. I'll get better soon, Kimmy. All right. Now I've done the balustrade up there. This one's the bronze. I love this colour. I'm using gel pens as well, as well as them being pretty and a bit of bling. Um, they're quick. I can get this over and done with. <laughs> I have to think of something for next stream. Bits and pieces like that. I'm not going to worry about them on stream, I don't think. As I get in there and do them. <laughs> All righty. This one is just a gel pen gold, but there's no um, name on it. It's a gold, but, yeah, there's no brand or it's not a signal. It's just a cheap gel pen. Let's put a couple of different golds on there.
got lots of different colours. Now for this bench, oh, I might just use um, Pablo in the ochre, 035. Just get in here and be really lazy, but it's a nice light kind of caramelly coloured bench top. I don't know what this is over here. So it's caramel again. It's ochre, but oops. I don't know what they are. No worries, Kenny. Hi, Belinda. Thank you for being here. Um, I'm enjoying my prismas, but they are the new new, so you know how that works. Plus, they cost me 160 pounds from Korea to here, so I better love them. Yes, and I'll, I'll tell you what, I've had my prismas for a year, few years. I've done a lot of colouring with them, um, providing they don't break. Um, I've had one of the greens. I had a bit of trouble with it. It kept breaking. But um, I tell you what, I've got my money's worth out of them. Kenny, have you seen the price of Prismas on Amazon right now? Why are they cheap? Karen, I don't know. Some of these are getting short, and I don't want to break into my new set. Once I do, I'll be looking at buying, I'll be looking at grabbing another set. <laughs> I'm just looking at this up in here. I don't know what it is. I'm trying to steer away from the browns a little bit. I love, well, see, they get. They're getting really short. <laughs> oh, I love the Tuscan red. Oh, I love this colour. But a lot of this pencil got chewed up when I did the dragon, which I have down beside me, actually. Actually, no, I'll get that back out again, back to the... So I've got a Prisma, Prisma Tuscan Red, and I've got the Ochre in the Pablo. There's something I've really been wanting to do is, like, oh, a certain colour or... And it's like, oh, and I'd only have the one set. Now, this one is a poly. So I've got a Prisma, I've got a Pablo, and I've got a poly. And it is so nice to mix, mix and match and just use whatever brand. Light yellow glaze. Whereas before I had the trays here or whatever or my pencil case and just using what I had. And I watch others and they mix and match and it's like, oh, Love to do that. I just want to blend that a little bit.
Barney. <sighs> Bit of Tuscan red under here. A bit of ochre. I don't know what these things are. Maybe they're cocoa beans or something. Oops, better lift that, make sure your backing's on properly so you don't get that line. Two hundred fifty for prisoners. Oh, wow! I got a set when Blitz had the mess up. Oh, did they have a mess up? What mess up? Yeah, Belinda, we missed out. <laughs> um, the prisoners hundred fifty set for thirty five dollars. Oh, oh! No. Oh, hit mute while I scream. Oh, my goodness. Net 265, and that's for you guys. Oh, my God. <laughs> yes, they are large carved cocoa beans, Heather. That's what I thought. Yep, great minds think alike. Thank you, Robin. <laughs> Shannon, nobody will pay that for those pencils. Those pencils are not worth that price. There's just some greedy person on Amazon. Yeah, you got to really shop around. Got two sets that day. Yeah, I would at that price too. <laughs> 265 I know. They've gone up. My first set of Prismas I ever got were 140 delivered on eBay. And my next set were 160 70, I think, delivered, something like that. And I've seen them. Yeah, they're pretty dear now. That's like 600 Aussie dollars. <laughs> it's getting crazy. I paid 88, I think, for the first set. Oh, well, that's a bargain. Yeah, I really got to shop around. If I see them on um, Dick Smith or somewhere like that, cheap enough, I'll probably grab them because they are. They're getting really dear. I'm just putting some Tuscan red in here to kill off the black blotches. Anyway, back up to the cocoa beans. I'll do a couple. I won't do them all. I'll do the rest off stream because it's just the same thing over and over again. I'm just putting some brown here and there. Seeing he's got all the print detail isn't the greatest.
Oh, and now that Lisa Matrokin has said something and we're allowed to have a bit of a tease, have you all heard what's happening in October? Hey, Belinda. <laughs> I got mine open stock. Did you buy your Prisma's open stock, Belinda? Shannon's like telling you to get a better brand. God. Pay 45 for my second full set of Prisma's. Never been that low again. No, you really got a shop. Pam, it was Amazon's Black Friday sale. Yeah. Um, I got my Polly's really great. Price 95, but it was four days, four years ago. <laughs> yes, it's gone up. We have got Spooktober Spectacular coming up. That is our next big event, and it's going to be awesome. So if you're into witches and zombies and werewolves and, you know, and it doesn't have to be the dark, scary kind that can be, cute and all that sort of stuff as well so um don't let that sort of stuff deter you because i'm sure the artist will do some adorable stuff um but that's our next one coming up yes and it's a month long go for it belinda <laughs> <laughs> oh belinda Sooktober. <laughs> God love you. I like that typo. Sooktober. Oh, for all the sooky la -las. <laughs> Oh, God love you. <laughs> what is a month long? Spooktober Spectacular. And, of course, Lisa, Shelley and Belinda are at it again. Um, this one's going to go for a month long with live streams and all that sort of all good stuff. But I'm not saying too much. But I'm just having a bit of a tease here, laughing at loud, possessed phone, I tell you. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Whole month of October. Yep. Is going to be spooked but spectacular. So all different things. Well, as in like, you know, your Halloween stuff, all witches and gobblers and ghosts and all 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 that good stuff. I'm just about done with this bloody thing. <laughs> I've only got a bit of wood here and a bit 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 here. <laughs> I've got the Intricate stuff down there. I'm just. I might just do that in gel pen. Um, just a bit of gold and silver or something like that. But um, anyway, that's pretty much it for this rotten thing. <laughs> yeah, lots of discounts and giveaways. It's your favourite, Kenny. Yeah, your picture is so beautiful, Heather. Thank you, Kenny. But, um, you know, just because it's werewolves and ghosts and spooky stuff and all that sort of stuff, um, it doesn't, like I said, it doesn't mean to say it's going to be horror, dark theme, you know, like there'll be, I'm sure the artists will do really cute witches and, and all that sort of stuff. <laughs> She's over it. Yeah, I am over it. <laughs> See discounts that she'd say. Uh. <laughs> Dust cats. <laughs> God love you. Heather, your page is beautiful. Thank you very much, Karen. Be right back. Dishes. Oh, okay, Abby. I'm just not into Halloween. No. No, it's not for everyone, but um, it will be awesome. There we go. Mine turned out too dark. Mine turned out too dark, but I coloured it thanks to you. Thank you. Oh, Robin, oh, I'm sure it looks fine. Are you on um, Instagram? 
find me or I'll find you or whatever. And if you post it on there, um, I'll get rid of these. All right, yep, she's, she's, it's done as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> I'm over it. Uh, so there we go. So I have to. Um, I've got to. I'm not going to leave them bright yellow. Oh, I might leave them. I might fix them up a little bit. But um, yeah, she's pretty much done. I think you get the idea of it. I'm, I'm over it. <laughs> now what I have been doing. Put that under there. And put that up there. I'll have to buy another folder. <laughs> this one's for my pictures that are finished. Now, I did, because last stream I talked about paper, and this one's the sheet that the guy, the guy gave me. And um, this one is from Monia Gates from February. So I did her. She's got a few different pencils on her. And I coloured her wings in, in pastel blues, greens, and a touch of yellow. And then I went over it with some um, Holcroft Diamond Ink, Indian Ink. The inside is pan pastel and the outside is distress ink. So that's her done. Thank you, Belinda. Oh, bye, Karen. I'm sure it looks beautiful right in here. Thanks for being here, honey. Have a lovely evening. I have to do the dinner thing. Take care, everyone. <laughs> Thank you, vote of confidence. It's okay. Just a lot of wood. Yeah, there is a lot of wood. Um, so that that's her on that paper, and I have to admit it's got some a little bit of tooth, but um, oh, it went on really, really well. Um, really happy with that paper, and it's nice and thick. So that's that one I did. And I've left that in there so I know. And where is it? And this one I did finish yesterday. And this one's on the Mondi or Mondi, I think it's Mondi, um, 250 GSM. And I threw everything at this thing. <laughs> Watercolour background, and it's got some pencil on it. Um, all sorts of pencils, yep, watercolour for the sand down the bottom. Um, but I threw everything at that to see how this paper would handle it. And it turned out like, yeah, the paper was very smooth paper um, and it did okay, not too bad at all. Because it looks better on screen. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Thank you. And this one, which I might do a bit with you guys now, is this one. And this is on the paper mill, I think. And I started her last night. So I'll do a bit of her with you guys. So this won't be all on stream. It'll just be mucking around now because I'm over the other picture. It's done. <laughs> Thanks, guys. So um, I'll do a bit of her. And this is ivory, this paper. And um, it's quite smooth and pencils are going down on it quite nicely. Yep. 
Yeah, um, Christine Karen, beautiful. She does lovely stuff. So that's that. So I've left them on there because they were just samples to try out the paper. And my next pot of call when I get to office work will be um, I'll get some quill board. Thank you, Belinda, and try that out. And it's 25 sheets for $8.15, so that's not too bad. It's pretty good, actually. So if I get, say, 100 sheets, it's $32. That's not too bad. That's cheaper than some of the other stuff. So that's I've been doing those. Might do some of this girl. Excellent. Let's do it. This one, Robin. I've got my green pencils here from last. It's getting pretty late. <laughs> I've got to get to bed. I've got to stream in the morning. <laughs> and I wanted to keep going. <laughs> yes. Oh, I forgot to send Pink Life out loud. My bad. No. <laughs> I found it on Officeworks. $8.15 for 25 sheets. So I have... And I know I did this. This is not a stream picture. This is off stream, but um, I'll just colour in a bit with you guys. So I've got various pencils here. I have got Eggshell 140 in the Prisma. I've got Kelp Green, which is 1090 in the Prisma. I've got Chestnut 1081 in the Prisma. <laughs> I've got Lime Peel 1005 in the Prisma. <laughs> Um, I do love my Prismas. Um, Deco, Deco Yellow, Deco Yellow, 1011 in the Prisma. White in the Prisma. Peacock Green, 907 in the Prisma. And I've got Camel Brown in the Arteza. Um, light. Light Olive 245 in the Pablo and Pear Green in the Arteza. <laughs> so mostly Prismas. <laughs> I'll just zoom in, guys. Maybe I shouldn't. <laughs> no, other way. That way. No, other way. <laughs> All right. It's rock and roll for a little while. Thank you, Pam. I don't know about the skin. I hate doing skin. <laughs> and I don't know about, like, yeah, because it was, but grayscale, but um, her cheek, I don't know, it's in a bit of a funny spot, but I don't want to make it any bigger. I don't want this big pink blotch on her face like she's got rosacea or something. Uh, the skin is beautiful. <laughs> Thank you, Pam. I'm glad you think so. <laughs> I hate doing skin. Oh. Love it. The image tells a story already. Oh, thank you, Robin. Oh. All right, so I'm on to the leaves. So I'll start off with an teaser, which is pear green. I've been taking my time with this one. This one is kelp green. Uh, 
chestnut. I change my pencils a lot, so just a bit of brown in there, not much at all. And just blend it in a bit. The leaves aren't one colour. And the Doka yellow. And peacock green. White, just lighten that up a bit. Now I've got this um, chestnut here just to go underneath, just to define the leaves if I go over a bit. Oh, you may hate doing skin, but it is beautiful. Oh, thank you, Kenny. Agreed. Oh, thank you, Shannon. How was the colour? How was the cookout today? Did you have a cookout today, Shannon? <laughs> you might as well hold them because I swap them that much. If I hold them, you might see what I'm using a bit more. Um, pal, pa, blah, pa, blah, Pablo, light olive. I'll just do a bit of the stem. But this is done off stream, so If you find yourself going a bit dark, which I just did with that stem, just add some white in there. Oh, 
get the shirt off. I fed him a hot dog and half a hamburger. Oh. Thank you, Abby. When I turned on the Redbird sitting in the middle of the road. Oh, you even gave him a name. Oh. Hi, Diane. Thank you for being here. Hey, hey. Sorry, I'm late. I just got back from doing laundry and worn out. And, oh, oh, Diane. Oh, Diane. Oh, you can go to my name. He'll track you down. <laughs> I remember I woke up one morning, like years ago, this was like 1986 or something, and I woke up, just looked out my bedroom window, and sitting on the brick ledge was this tortoiseshell cat, and I love my animals and that, and I thought, oh, <laughs> ugly cat, God love it, and um, she just turned up. As they do. And um, we took her in. We called her Shelly. And she was an awesome cat. She was awesome. And then parents moved to Painesville. And um, we took her with us. We had an, another one, a black half kind of long hair called Sooty. And um, I don't know what happened. Um, but yeah, one disappeared and then the other one disappeared and our animals don't disappear. I've got a feeling the old prick across the road, excuse my French, but I could say it worse than that, um, I oh, we wouldn't be surprised if the old bastard poisoned them. Um, if I ever found out, I'd tell you what, I'd, I would have killed him. Old Charlie, he's dead now anyway. But um, if I had found out, he would have been dead a lot sooner. Well, we don't know what happened. Our animals don't just disappear like that. And... um. And of course, years later, I had Tess. I've been there for quite a while. Oh, Charlie's gone. He passed away. And one day I just clicked and I go, oh, that's right. Jeez, our other cats disappeared. Tell you what, if Tess disappeared, they'd be hell to pay. And, um, but like she never did. And that just pretty much confirmed to me that that old bastard, I reckon, poisoned their cats because he didn't like cats going in his yard. So excuse my French, but um, man, yeah, when it comes to my, oh man, I tell you what, if, if I found out, he would have been, he would have been dead, and I'd be in jail.
Diane. I love this picture. Mine turned out better than expected. Oh, <laughs> Diane. My friend is on her way. We'll need to go catch everyone again soon. Great stream. Thank you for being here, Pam. Enjoy your visitor. Have a lovely evening. No worries, Kitty. Oh, no, Robin. Yeah, I don't know what happened, but um, I'm just glad nothing happened to Tess. Not that we could prove it or anything, but, yeah, I don't know. It just, yeah, yeah. I've got these greens and I've got a million others there and I'm trying to s stick to the same colours. Can't really use that chestnut because it's too f same as her hair. The leaves will just disappear. But as you can see, I swap my pencils a fair bit. Not that I'm the only one that does that. There's others that do it too, but <laughs> I do swap them a lot. Diane, you're on um, Instagram. I'll have to have a look at your picture, honey. I had a bit of a clean-up the other day on Instagram. There's a few there. They they want you to follow them, so you follow them, and then they unsubscribe. Um, and it's like, well, I don't play that numbers game. I'm not interested in that. I had a bit of a clean up. And those that don't even use their account, they're not active. They haven't posted anything. Um, see you later. <laughs> I've sort of done the leaves on her head. There's a lot more leaves, <laughs> which I won't do on stream and bore you guys to tears. So I'll do a few flowers. What will I colour next, you guys? Oh, there's a few up there to do. I won't do them all on stream. I'll move on to some flowers. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what happened to them, Belinda. They just disappear, one disappear, and then a while, a few months later, or months later, or a while later, the other one disappeared. Um, you know, they could have gone down the back and got bitten by a snake, but when two disappear like that, it's like, no, nah, it's too coincidental. Um, <laughs> your shot morphed into a fairy. <laughs> 
Love it, love it. I was thinking the same thing. Hey, <laughs> hi, Shara. Thank you for being here. Yeah, no, shop's done. As far as I'm concerned, there's, you know, like, there's a few, you know, just blotchy. It's a jar or something and, you know, a couple of other bits of wood. <laughs> um, but apart from, you know, and just that bit there, but apart from that and doing the intricate stuff there and there, which is just such tiny detail, um, I'll just use some gel pen, silver gel pen or gold gel pen or something. I don't know. That's so tiny in there. Um, that's going to take a bit of doing. I'll post it on Instagram when I'm finished so you can have a look at it. But apart from just filling in a bit of backgrounds um, and the base under there, it's done. So I'm not going to bore you guys with doing that on stream. It's just basic stuff. So that's done. So I have to think what I'm going to colour next. So I just thought I'd, because that's finished and um, what's the time? 11.17. Yeah, so not even two, uh, an hour and 17 minutes. I'll do this for a while. And um, I think I might what to colour next. Oh, there's some beautiful colours here. Hang on. I'll get my book out. Oh, I'll get rid of that. Oh, these glasses on, off, on, off. Back in a set, guy. Miss Fluffy out. <laughs> Thank you, Diane. That's what I want. Did I need a bookmark? No, but I got it because it had the wolf on it. I thought he was quite cool. But I sort of got him for this. So if I grab something out, I can put him in there. Now I've got the Holcroft inks. And I've got some beautiful colours here. And I could use... Use diamond. I love the diamond. Um, or gold. I'm not sure what colour I'll use. I don't even know if I'll use it. Then I've got these over here. The volcano red. Well, the sun orange is a nice colour. It's pretty in the acrylic ink, FW inks. I haven't made up my mind yet. Not sure. I don't know yet. Metallic purple. Purple's really pretty. I don't know which colour to use yet. But um, I might use one of them on her top. Not sure. That's where the colouring off stream, you can take your time and think about it for a little bit. I 
Oh, thank you for being here, Ryan. Have a lovely evening. Thanks, guys. Um, <coughs> colour a bit more of this. What to colour next? What book next? <laughs> don't know what that is. Now, as for the flowers, I was thinking about doing the white. Maybe a blue, a blue would look nice. Maybe a blue. So I've got white here in the Prisma and I've got lilac and I've got light cobalt turquoise in the poly. Um... Just very lightly, I just want to do it off white. I want them to be light. Oh, my nightfall arrived the other day too. I didn't do a flip through of it. I thought, ah, oh. it's been done a million times before, but. It's a nice book as well. But I like in the back of nightfall, it's got the plants, the flowers, so you can look them up on the internet and see what colour they really are. How about that? There is too many to choose from. <laughs> there certainly is. It is the eternal struggle, laugh out loud, but it is a good struggle. <laughs> I was just talking, Shannon, that too many things to colour. There are two books I want to finish this year. Oh, God, oh, good luck to you, Shannon, if you can finish any books. <laughs> oh, and it was suggested to me um, that you are a very good mod, Shannon. Would you like to be a mod? Um, you don't have to, but if you'd like to. Um, but my year goal was colour a page in every book I own. Yeah, that would be good to do that too. There's, I've got books there I just couldn't care less about anymore because I've moved on to all the nice stuff. <laughs> I'll be back in one sec, guys. <clears throat> Bessie Cross is nice and chilled out over there. Oh, she's got another ad that she goes off at now. And it's like, oh, God, she howls her head off. But 
but she hasn't done it every single time. <laughs> so I think that answers your question, does it, Shannon? Who told me that you were a good mod? Yes, Shannon is a great mod. <laughs> Veronica Summer Nights and Twilight Garden. Go for it, Shannon. That's a good good goal to have. Oh, I thought that was weird. Wrong glasses. That's better. <laughs> Haha, uh -huh, same. I've given up on the not so nice books. Yeah. No, I've been always, I've been always colouring and drawing and looking for adult colouring books and couldn't find them. And so, you know, I found a few books I got. And then the adult colouring craze came in and bought some books um, locally and all the rest of it. And and then of course discovered all these other beautiful books by Clara and John and Vanger and, and um, Rhapsody in the Forest and all these beautiful books. And they're the ones that I used to colour, the stupid harmony of colour with their psychedelic backgrounds and that. Yeah, I've got no time for them now. She sometimes tells stories, but sure, I would not mind at all. <laughs> all right, doll. Okay. There we go. Here, it's official. <laughs> Shannon, I tell the truth always. <laughs> so you should be a mod now. You should be. There we go, girl. Veronica, I made good before I bought so many books this year. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't buying well every year. I'm not buying anything. <laughs> I've been pretty good this year, except I've, yeah, I've bought a few things at the start of the year. I can't remember what they were. <laughs> and then, of course, I ended up doing this display. That was a couple of hundred dollars. But uh, well worth it, I must admit. All right. Oh, it's a pain because I have to put these. I'm going to get my eyes checked. I'll make sure that white is clean. I'm trying to think of what to colour next stream. Um, yeah, too many choices. <laughs> he's, he's definitely right. Oh, where's that violet? This is the violet in the prisma. Off, I like that center. Um, mulberry, just very lightly. There we go. That's that. That's a bit better. Uh 
Oh, my bashing stick is ready. <laughs> I want Hannah's new one in August, and then I don't know of any more I want this year, but we know that will change. <laughs> I want the Swedish version. Oh, yeah. Um, I've got Beauty of Horror Creature Features August um, pre ordered for September. Um, sight unseen, but I can't wait for that. And oh, Clara's got a new book coming out in August, I think. So I'll be straight on to that one because. Yep, we all end up selling out and hard to get. So I'll get straight on to that. doesn't matter what book I think of colouring on stream. They're all pretty much got detail in them. <laughs> Five parts, six parts later. <laughs> now, I mean, pencils are a slower medium, but... Do watercolour and stuff as well. John and Vanger, I love that book. Um, Rhapsody in the Forest. Oh, and then there's Romantic Country. <laughs> <laughs> Kirby's. Kirby's. Oh, God, the list goes on. Don't even think about it. Oh, Belinda, you've got Anastasia's new one coming. They're expensive. Uh, one of my dogs is outside licking his feet and bearing the neighbour's fireworks. Oh, God love him. As long as he's not freaking out. What well, Kirby's got a new book coming out as well. Oh, Heather, she's beautiful. Got to run. Thanks for streaming. No worries, Abby. Thank you for being here. It's a pretty boring stream today. <laughs> Have a good evening, Abby. Thank you for being here. <coughs> Say hello to Kimmy for me. Oh, there's a couple of flowers down here as well. Hang on. Lilac first. I won't do much more on stream. I'm just, yeah, gas bagging. <laughs> Might go have some porridge. Sounds like a good idea. Blend the blue in a little bit. Oh, that's the wrong one.
right, that looks okay. Oh, I have some hiding inside, but he's apparently annoyed. <laughs> Lucky Zona. I've been trying to move the picture I coloured of this to your group page, but it's not working. Um, aggravated anyway, so I'm going to stop. Oh, Diane. It's on my Instagram if you would like to see her. There. Okay. I'm loving the colour in her. I'm loving the colour in her face. <laughs> well, thank you, Diane. Um, now, I had someone else post on my page and they said it didn't go. But it goes, because it's on your on Facebook page, it goes to visitors. It doesn't go directly to the main page feed. Um so sometimes people don't think it's there and <laughs> they post it again. I'll have a look later. But um, if you tried to post on my Facebook page, it'll probably be in visitors' posts. Her eye makeup and skin tone, etc. Thank you very much. Well, like I was like a before, I hate doing skin. <laughs> I'm, no, I'm no good at it. <laughs> So we've all got stuff to learn. Um, yeah, lilac like first. So I'm glad you guys like her. Thank you. I like my fairy that I did. I was quite happy with her. Not one person has liked my fairy on my Facebook page. And yet the one that I did... With the whale, the two whales and the mermaids, um, I've got a few likes. <laughs> it's like, go figure. Oh, I like the fairy. <laughs> it's funny how you, you know, I don't know, your yeah, individual tastes and I was just testing out the paper with the one with the mermaids and the whales on it. Um, that was just playing around, just testing out the paper. So is the fairy, but um, I thought the fairy was pretty. I love her purple outfit, the colours, the purple colour. I love purple. Couple more flowers and then I'll stop, guys. I'm not sure what colour I'll do the wings yet. Still thinking about that. So start getting yourselves ready for Spooktober spec Spectacular. Poor Kenny's like, no, I don't like that stuff. <laughs> I'm sure you'll find a picture you like. Something cute. 
cute witch or something, maybe. Who knows? Hopefully, you'll be there. You'll join us anyway. Can even get the light sky blue and put some of that on there as well. But I want the flowers to be mainly a light colour and white for a change. Thought white would be nice. Where's that real sky blue? This one, yeah, sky blue light. Just to blend the blues in a bit more. So it's not allowing me to move it. Oh, I hear the fire starting up and my dogs are freaking out and under my feet. Oh, I'm dying. Um, indeed, Heather, I never know what will make people react. Who knows, maybe they are a little fairied out, <laughs> if that makes any sense. <laughs> I need to practice glow effects before Spook Time Spectacular gets here. Well, I was thinking about doing her background a bit. Oh, thank you, Shannon. Heather, I always join in if you are talking to me. <laughs> um, I was thinking about doing the background yellow around her. And then... like a real light green, what's left of it, I'm not even sure what it is, 920, I can't remember what this colour is offhand, but um, a yellow, a light green, and then maybe a darker blue, a, like a, a beautiful, a mixture of ultramarine kind of blue, or um, cerulean blue, something like that. I'm not sure yet, but um, or we could do do something like that next stream. I'll pick a picture out. Um, what about stuff doing that? <laughs> Hang on, something with a glow. I think I know just the books. I'll do something out of this next stream. We'll pick something out and then I'll go. Get her, get her out of the way so she doesn't smudge. Yeah, the flowers really stand out actually with that. I like that. All right, let's pick a picture. <clears throat> Love this book. So it's got a glowy kind of effect. Even that one, it's gorgeous. And that's why what, what, all his pictures sort of glowy. Oh, 
Oh, this one's a real blurry one. <laughs> oh, it's gorgeous bulb. Even if it is a bit dark. I wouldn't know where to start. <laughs> what are you going to use to colour that dark grayscale? Um... Light colours need, needs bright colours, bright greens, bright yellows, bright bright oranges, blues. They need um, for the dark areas, like for the grass down here. Um, I'd go a real light green. I just don't know which one. <laughs> it's so funny here, guys. Um. Heather, always join if it, yep, my chat was froze. I had to refresh and live chat. Oh, God, Kenny. Hope it's all right for you now. 920 is light green. Oh, thank you, Diane. Yep. Heather, um, you have, forget my French ball. <laughs> I've been told that a few times. <laughs> I haven't, I can assure you. 100% female. But um, tomboy through and through. <laughs> This book scares me. Oh, well, I'll do this next stream and um, it won't scare you as much. What are you going to use to colour the dark grayscale? Yep, light colours. I wouldn't know where to start. No. Well, having a look at these pictures. Look at the. There's a lot of detail. That's a few streams, that is. Bass. <laughs> Well, I'm trying to pick something that's not going to take 50 million streams, but, yeah, that's just not really. They're all um, <laughs> detailed. Oh, they're all so gorgeous. I could flip through this book over and over. It's just a gorgeous book. So that's very dark down there. Um, you could even, well... <laughs> Some light pencils will go over the top. Let's let's see. Um, this one's neon yellow. Now that neon yellow, that looks like leaves down there. Let me just do strokes. You probably can't even see that. Oh, I can see that on stream. Just. Oops, I don't want to knock the. Maybe it falls on. Yeah, see that? That's with the neon yellow. And they look like leaves down there. Get on the screen. Um, yeah, you can just see them down there. That That's with the neon yellow, and it looks like a greeny colour, and they do look like leaves. Or you could even go probably brighter than that again. Um, but that's a real bright yellow. I'm going to have to sharpen this. Oh, Kenny, you having trouble? Be right. Okay. That is just not realistic. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> Thanks for the testing it out immediately. Oh, that's all right. Happy to do that for you, Diane. Um, now, this one is Chartreuse in the Prisma 989. 
And that, that's even brighter. And I quite like the leaves that I've done with the other one. So chartreuse. Oh, goodness me. <laughs> what did I just use before? Was it the light green? Well, there you go. That's another one. There's quite a few. Now I want to do that. <laughs> Maybe I don't want to do this picture. But um, just the few that I've done there. Hang on. Whoops. I'll wait. That's not very clear, is it? Yep, see those all those leaves down there? The three of them. That's in three different greens, bright greens. Chartreuse. Light green. Try the spring green. Yeah, spring green works as well. So bright colours like that go over the top will work. If that helps with the black. I'm not saying I'll do this next stream, but now I've started the <laughs> started it. But um that one has a well it's got a glowy effect, but not I'll just think of maybe the first one. I don't know. I'll decide. But if you guys have got this book and want to colour along, I'll flip through and there'll definitely be a picture out of this book. Oh, see that? It's just gorgeous. Gorgeous. A lot of detail. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. I'll pick something out of this book, guys. <laughs> I'm hopeless try to pick. <clears throat> oh, God, guys. Oh, Don. Oh, Robin. Where you lead, I will follow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> Dark colours do too. Yeah. Yeah, we'll play around and do different different stuff. I mean, I've seen some of the other people that have coloured in this and it's like, wow, you know, their pictures have come up amazing. Um, my settings look good. Oh, that's all right, Kenny. Glad you've got that all sorted. They can actually appear lighter over the black. That's right, Belinda. Yep. Yep. We'll play around just for a couple of minutes more. See, I've been going for nearly two hours. I bet I can't find this picture again. <laughs> there it is. Um, it is a darker green, but I love this green. It's pretty. Um, this one's grass green. It doesn't show up very much. Probably not on on screen, but um, I can sort of see it. But the other greens. But yes, like she said. Some of the darker ones can um, show up as well. But anyway, we'll have a play around. This is, I'll, well, I don't know about this picture, but um, something out of this one next stream. So if you guys got this book, 
feel free to colour along. I'll get this girl probably done. I'll post it on Instagram when I'm finished. Got my pencils happening. All right, it's been nearly two hours, guys. We'll go and I'll go and have some porridge. Well, that's right. Um, I said moving on because you said I don't think I want to colour this picture. <laughs> I'm hopeless with picking. Oh, hopeless. So um, have a lovely rest of your weekend and a, and 4th of July. Enjoy the fireworks. Watch all your animals. God love them. Take care of yourselves until next time. Thank you for being here today. It was a pretty average, boring stream. <laughs> you never know what's going to happen on my streams. All right, guys, get ready for Spooktober. Save your pennies. Um, Heather, thank you for streaming. You're welcome. Thank you, Belinda and Kenny and Shannon. Welcome on board. Thank you for being a mod. Awesome. Um, yes, Kenny told me you were a great mod. <laughs> Um, and Diane and Karen, Robin, I don't want to miss anyone, and everyone who's been here today and watched and watches back and everything else, Abby and everyone. All right, guys, take care of yourselves, and I shall talk to you all soon. See you, guys. Yep, stay safe, guys. You're welcome. <laughs> Cheers, guys. <laughs>